In this example, we're going to use the specific heat and the heat of fusion for mercury to calculate how much energy is required to increase the temperature of a certain given amount of mercury. So let's begin. Suppose the heat of fusion for mercury is 11 kilojoules per kilogram. If the specific heat of mercury is 140 joules per kilogram times Celsius, calculate the amount of energy in joules that is required to bring 10 kilograms of mercury from negative 39 degrees Celsius, which is the melting point of mercury, to 25 degrees Celsius. So we begin with a solid block of mercury that has 10 kilograms of mass and it is at the melting point. So that means we need to input a certain amount of energy to first melt that mercury from the sound phase to the liquid phase. So we have to calculate how much energy is required to completely melt our 10 kilogram chunk of mercury. So we multiply the mass of the mercury in kilograms by the latent heat, by the heat of fusion given by this quantity. So 10 kilograms multiplied by 11 kilojoules per kilogram and we obtain 110 kilojoules or equivalently 110,000 joules of energy. So this is how much energy is required to completely melt our solid block of mercury into liquid mercury. And now we have liquid mercury at this temperature and we want to find how much energy is required to raise the temperature from negative 39 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. So we use the following equation. We take the product of the mass given in kilograms multiplied by the specific heat of mercury multiplied by the change in temperature given in Celsius. So the mass is 10 kilograms, the specific heat is 140 joules per kilogram times Celsius and the change in our temperature is 25 minus negative uh, 39 degrees Celsius. So the negative becomes positive and we have 25 plus 39. So we multiply these quantities and we get 89,600 joules of energy is required to raise the temperature of of mercury from its melting point to 25 degrees Celsius. So now we take this quantity and add it with this quantity and we get 199,600 joules of energy or equivalent 199.6 kilojoules of energy is required to first melt it and then bring the temperature up to 25 degrees Celsius.